Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited. This is my first post for the year 2021. Yeah, I'm excited about the new year because, you know, it's my year of new beginnings. Yes, that's the sure word of prophecy that we have from our father. And this is not because we know that everything will go so perfectly in the year 2021. But we're excited. Oh, I am excited. Let me not speak for everyone. But I am excited personally because a new year is always a new opportunity to, you know, set new goals, get new um, achievements, you know, do new things. Yes, it's a new opportunity. And it's not cliche, okay? No, it's not. <laughs> anyway anyway this is not the video to talk about 2021 in this video i will be sharing about 2020 yes the lessons learned the mistakes made all the pepper that 2020 showed me ah and all the you know lessons i learned and all the blessings you know that turned out in 2020 all the goodness how god came to everything basically this is 2020 in a review okay are you ready for it let's go so let's start with um january right i started the year with a pregnancy yes i was pregnant not like i started the year with pregnancy i came into the year pregnant okay yo i didn't even write any goals i wasn't i was just like oh my let me just deliver this baby because if I wanted to write a goal of oh get a job get more money I felt like I'll be I'll be nursing a baby I probably won't have time I won't be able to even apply for new jobs I won't be able to do this I won't be I kind of limited my head and this is a mistake that I made thank God that God doesn't judge us by our mistakes <laughs> but um, I remember that in my church we had we did a 21 days fasting and prayer no i did not fast but i prayed along i remember that every time i'm coming back from work i will go to church i will pray 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 i say for me it was more of okay this baby you know being a mom next life what was next for me everything i really was at a, at this state where i was like okay god i don't know what's gonna happen after having a baby becoming a mom this was new okay so i was in my feelings okay let me just tell you people but um during my the 21 days fast in my church my church um all the, all the people that were leading prayers they kept saying don't come into this year unexpected don't come into this year just winging it be expectant you know write down goals write down what you want say it don't don't feel like oh i don't want to ask for too much ask for too much okay <laughs> and i was like okay so i think you know going for the prayers going for the prayers kind of like just reshaped my thinking and then i finally now picked up a pen and paper wrote down things i started being expectant i started thinking okay maybe i can get a job you know even if i'm a new mom i started to have expectations you know at that point and you know january went like that so that's one mistake that i made in january and then february came you know the baby came and you guys i was stretched okay thank god that you know um i can say that maybe i'm like a spiritual person before because if not <laughs> i filmed about this in one of my videos where i talked about you know um things i didn't know that satan tried me yes you should check out that video i probably will attach it yeah but yeah so february came had a baby um the first week of the baby coming in baby had jaundice had to go back to the hospital <sighs> had to go back to the hospital stayed there till like the night before the naming ceremony i was in the hospital guys in fact i broke myself out of the hospital the hospital didn't release me let me tell you people the truth <laughs> the hospital didn't release me i said no i'm done i've i've prayed i've given him he has been in phototherapy for how many days okay it's okay i'm going to my house and although let me not lie the bilirubin level was that thing called dropped yes it had dropped but then they the hospital was saying oh they wanted something lower and i was like no this is okay before the next time don't worry we'll come a day after i'll come and test and i'll tell you that it has gone down and we're like okay you have to sign an undertaking that like you're the one that is going and i was like i will go thank you very much <laughs> and so i left okay 
and then i remember that when we went back for circumcision or something we had to do the um join this test again and it had come down glory to god because i know the god that i serve is able to do exceedingly abundantly <laughs> anyway so that was how february went of course nursing the baby healing ah there were days when i cried in that i, I think the first time i came home i think realizing that wow i'm i've just entered a new world new job wahala that's what you know say wahala be like bicycle <laughs> i think that uh, that um awareness that awakening dawned on me and i kind of cried no i kind of i cried when i first got home then the fact that i had to take my bath on my mom jurad for me you know what they're calling jura that thing that they use hot water to do i did that you know all that you know february went like that sha then the virus hit and when the virus hit my paranoia went way up like you guys i was having bad dreams i was having terrible dreams i would not be able to sleep sometimes sometimes i'll just pick up my baby and just start praying you know what it was because i had a baby that's why i was more paranoid because in my head i was like i don't even mind getting it but i don't want my child to get it god forbid i can never get it well that was my mindset kind of in that time if someone coughs around me i think everybody felt that one or not everybody most people you know felt that coughing thing that maybe you think oh do i have the virus so anyway that's how much went i remember that there was one time that i was praying with my husband and my husband while we finished praying we got a word from the holy spirit that um i should calm down that god 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 literally told us that he gave us this son and he's able to keep him okay that i should stop being worried and i should stop being paranoid that nothing will happen to this child and wow that was the word that i needed and it kind of calmed me down not kind of he actually calmed even to today i still speak that word over my child that god is able to keep him god that gave him to me is able to keep him and like i still speak those words over him and so after then um so uh by like end of march towards april beginning lockdown you know was um imposed there's this group that my husband um leads we, we decided to do a is a whatsapp group it's a prayer group actually not just whatsapp we do um physical meetings i don't know if you've seen the vlog of come preach with me yes that group so we decided to do like a seven days prayer chain where we pray for 12 hours 6 a.m to 6 p.m every day each person take one hour you can there were more than you can be more than two people taking one particular hour but we just know that every 12 hours we're praying so that kind of brought jerks me back into you know my spiritual reality and in that particular month the month of april i I dedicated time to praying that one hour in tongues strictly and it really really helped me because in that one week i was able to get a spiritual diet from god god had to expose me to me to show me that for they came in, you didn't really have faith as much as you thought you did and in that period also i read this book exceedingly growing faith i also that's by kenny hagen then i listened to this message by pastor shegon Ayinka on healing it was a series it was about six or seven messages um one, one hour there about so i had listened to about seven hours content on healing do you understand and i did not need healing in that time but i was dedicated to listening to that so it kind of helped my word of faith i read scriptures on faith i learned about faith and then god had to tell me that for you to thrive and triumph as a believer in this world you actually have to become one with the word you cannot um just take the word on surface value you have to take the word eat it and say i believe this word i stick with this word so if you're gonna learn anything from this video you can learn this okay for 2021 you have to have conviction you have to say that i will stick with the word i will stick with the word of prophecy that i've received i don't care see scripture says david said a thousand may fall on my side and ten thousand on my right but he believes god okay that is god is able to keep him what makes man have that kind of conviction it is because because you stay and you know that you have that encounter in God so everyone will have to come to that point where you believe God for yourself you eat the word you accept the word you say I am one with this word and I had to not start telling myself I am born of God I am born of God I was saying I'm born of God like every time every time every time and before you know my faith was boosted it didn't happen automatically but like May June I started to feel on top of the word i said to feel like yes i'm born of god so this means that the word of it had eaten deep into my bones my system so yeah so that was how april shower went then i think april may hmm you guys 
our source of income got hit like serious hit okay my husband's um salary was cut salary cut my own salary was was like nepal light it didn't have light <laughs> that's all i can say so we were in a bisma bisma <laughs> financially okay i don't even know how we survived because when i was just thinking about this video i was like there was really a time that we had like half salary in this house i don't know how we survived you guys because in that period i was just like god but i i knew better because in 2019 god had taught me a lesson about money and so it's this year this 2020 i said okay god i trust you i shall know that you will not allow me to starve i cannot starve there's food in the house there's no problem if there's food we'll be all right <laughs> and i god just you know really miraculously blessed me and i'm not going to say god bless me let me tell you how god bless me okay i had a sister who just started sending me airtime for data so that was how i was able to still be uploading you know videos she just used to send me and i used to be like why are you sending me and she's like oh i just want to send it to you i don't know but god just raises people like that in our life so i think the biggest um gift i got in 2020 has to be the gift of men relationships i remember that um someone also randomly who is now my like my beloved mentor mentee now she randomly just said oh i feel like to send you money and you guys you don't even know <laughs> she, she didn't know what i was going nobody knew what was going on but she randomly sent me money and i was like okay god i see you another person randomly sent people were randomly sending me money then my husband also was having we just have we just helped it was just funny but we're getting helped by god basically because we weren't asking anyone and then i got the feeling to finally do my second um youtube for beginners class so i did that and you guys in that particular youtube for beginners class i remember that there was someone that paid for a class and she sent more extra money and when i asked her that oh you sent extra money she was like yeah just buy something for jason i was like okay this is someone that i knew from instagram right so we were provided for and it's just miraculous it was amazing even by the time um our salaries were now restored and everything it was not like amazing right uh it was just it was good right so in july i think july yeah i went back to work resumed back to work i had the issue also of my baby not receiving not um, accepting the bottle ah <sighs> It was a roller coaster year, okay? I literally was feeling so bad. I used to I used to Google, I watched plenty of YouTube videos like why is my baby not accepting the bottle? And you guys, I went to work one day, left my baby with my sister. My sister called me up and said he accepted the bottle. I was like, What? <laughs> it's just it's just babies will just do whatever they want to do, okay? If you're a mama watching this video right now, I'm here to tell you that don't let any babies stress you. Okay, they will outgrow everything. There was one time I was worrying about, oh, my baby's not here collecting uh, cereal. Now he's collecting the cereal. There's a time you'll be worrying, oh, my baby's not here collecting normal food. He will collect the food eventually. Just know. My baby's not here walking. He will work. My baby's not here sitting. He will sit. Don't worry, mama. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, you know, at that time. So, this same year, I think September, August, I got a new phone. Before then, I think August, I got a laptop. The way I even got a laptop was amazing. I took courses in this year too. I took um, a Firebrand um, by, um, Forerunners course. It was a course for, you know, it's like a Bible school. The way the money for that one too came out. I had the leading to do the course, but I was like, I, mean, I don't have 10K to drop. And the Holy Spirit kept nudging in my heart. Drop that last 10K in your account. I was like, no, you guys, there were times when I saw 2000 in my account, like it was that deep. But the funny thing is, at the same time, I was also saving, so every time I had money, I would just try and save, you know. But yeah, I remember that when I paid for Firebrand, like the next two days or so, my boss just sent us 10k each. Like, I dash you people, I know that times are hard. I was like, oh, <laughs> then 2020 was. It was amazing because I, I had the opportunity to learn all these lessons. If all these things didn't happen, I wouldn't have learned all these lessons. Just pick whatever lesson you want to pick from it. I think the greatest lesson for me was just build a strong conviction in God. In not what He can give you, not 
on things going not about things going on around you build your joy from the inside because jesus did not promise us that this world will have turbulence jesus said but do not worry you have overcome so knowing that at the end of the day we overcome is enough for me right in this year i prayed a lot okay i pray so in 2021 i'm gonna pray some more okay i'm dedicating myself to praying some more you know um so yes uh november was my birthday october was answers oh my god you guys the, the way i knew that my 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 stamina in the faith and my you know strength had been built was during the answers period okay during covid period i had to shut out covid19 and um, anything covid19 in my tweets in my twitter in fact i muted people on whatsapp because of covid you know because i did not want to see all those 25 new cases 10 new cases Mba. but when answers came i was actually into like i was watching all these things doing all these things even though i got it in my heart too in some cases but i realized that i did not feel any any the same way i felt during covid because i abused my word like i used to just be like oh i'm unshakable i'm unshakable so this is a lesson for you in 2021 please build your faith to that unshakable level like no matter what happens i just believe god i believe what god has said about me that's that about that and that cannot change <laughs> so during the answers i didn't feel that heart palpitations that i was feeling that paranoia that fear you guys eh? see you know that day of the lekki massacre the next day they were gunshots in my area like everywhere was hot but i did not feel i did not have bad dreams anymore I, like i was just secure in god and now i finally understand people like my husband and some people when they're just like ah, we know the god that we have that that is what happens okay so sometimes trials just like i think there's a book of james that says that trials build our patience so don't be too scared of these trials know that okay I know that I'm gonna pass this test, right? So yes, that um, those are the that this, that's basically the greatest lesson I learned in 2020. But how can I forget that I got monetized also in 2020? Yes, I hit my 1,000 um, subscriber goal, hit my 4,000 um, watch hours. 2020 was a blessing. Okay, continue with the gist. God taught me so much about financials. Do not tie your what to your financials. And to crown my 2020, you guys, God gave me the best gift ever. The gift that I wanted so much in 2020. I'm going to talk about it when it's like very official. But yeah, I got that thing that I wanted. Ooh. Anyway, so in 2021, we move. Yep. <laughs> You guys share your greatest lessons in 2020 for me let's talk about it in the comment section for me it was healing there were times when i felt sick that god healed me because of the word of faith i had i kept declaring the word of faith i kept saying i'm healed i'm healed for me also it was a provision our oh, god provided this year for me also it was fair me fair me the greatest gift for me in 2020 um i learned many lessons you know learned um that you know have expectation i learned that i have believe god believe that god is able to do i learned that be specific in the place of prayer specificity in the place of prayer has really really helped me and you know enter the new year with expectation don't enter any new year without expectation that is how you'll be able to even measure your goals oh guys okay let me end this video here because if i keep talking 30 minutes will be here <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching if you watch up until this moment you are the real mvp you guys comment below videos you want to see topics you want us to talk about this new year i want us to talk about you know topics that really affect believers you know and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video happy 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 new year bye guys um i think okay yes i remember that um i and then in March, after, and then, that our brother, God forbid, no, not our brother, <laughs> and then, that evil, demonic thing, you know that thing, that virus, yeah, it landed on the continent of Africa. 